What's going on guys? Derek here from Wilson Audio Labs. We're going to take another look at this Duke Audio Tone Amplifier. Try it with some 24 volt tests. Now you may notice on the back of this amp it does say that it supports up to 24 volts. Previous tests we used a 19 volt power supply. This is what came with the amplifier. It's only a 65 watt power supply. Here are the results. You can see 18 watts per channel at 8 ohms, 25 ish watts per channel at 4 ohms. Now the input here says 9 to 24 volts. So of course we're going to load it down and try 24 volts. So we got this power supply 24 volt 10 amp which is a 240 watt power supply. It costs about the same as the amplifier itself. I look at it size wise. It's huge. Let's see how it does. I have the Duke Audio Tone here hooked up to the amp dyno and I'm using the 24 volt 10 amp power supply. We're going to try the certified test again up to 1% THD using the 1 kilohertz track. Let's see if we can get anywhere near the 50 by 2 rating that it has. Still channel 2 counts up faster. And this is very interesting. It, it shuts off and on a few times, but look at this. It actually did get 50 watts on one channel, 48 on the other. That's very interesting. Let's go back, try the uncertified test, see if it counts up any cleaner. Again, this is a one kilohertz track. Yeah, it still looks like it kind of shuts off. <laughs> But it does do its power. 52 and 51 watts. Let's try dynamic. Dynamic 1 kilohertz burst tone. Again, the voltage here is just from the amp dyno, from the power supply, from the batteries. There you go. Provide it more input and you definitely get more output. Here with the Duke Audio Tone again with the larger 24 volt 10 amp power supply. It does say on the listing that it will support two ohm loads. So we're going to try two ohms here, one kilohertz track. Let's see what it does. Certified test first up to 1% total harmonic distortion. <laughs> so, yeah not very cleanly but it looks like uh, it actually I'm not sure if you can even consider that a success trust uncertified again the one kilohertz track I don't think it's gonna do it without shutting off yeah I've never really seen it do you, look at that. Oh wow. 68 and 73, but it's not anywhere near what I would call clean. Let's try dynamic at 2 ohms. 1 kilohertz burst tone 2 ohms, the Duke Audio Tone amplifier. <laughs> Look at that. Wow, this little thing's got some juice. Again, here is the amp. There's me. What's up? But uh, this thing's tiny. I'll show you a picture of me or the amp versus the power supply. It's kind of funny. There you go, guys. Just a quick little update video here for the Duke Audio Tone using the 24 volt power supply. Trying it out, see how much more power you get. And yes, you do get more power. This is based off the TPA3116 chip from Texas Instruments. So overall, very nice. Thanks again for watching. Appreciate you watching Willie Williston. Make sure you subscribe for more extras just like this. Till next time, Big D, you know where I'm at. Yep, I'm out of here.